Hello everybody, Jeff here again, and I'm reporting to you live from the Home Depot here in Coconut Creek, Florida. Well, actually not live. I'm recording this in 4K resolution here. But anyway, I wanted to show you uh, some of the items we're collecting here for the Bahamas. So a lot of the local restaurants and uh, a lot of agencies locally here are collecting up uh, groceries and supplies and stuff to send over to the Bahamas. And so luckily I came in here and saw these giant, huge five pound boxes of Deckmate screws, which I love these screws because you can see here, they have the, uh, the torque drive on them. These are the star bits. So these are like infallible. These are the best things in the world to use and they can use all the help they could get. But these things are being marked down like tremendously here from like $29 down to $7. See? So I've picked up a whole bunch of these. I've actually already dropped some of these off at the Wings Plus is one of the local restaurants that's collecting all of this stuff here. So I'm finding all of these things here that are being, you know, marked down greatly. And we're getting these drill bits here. And we're going to get uh, probably a few more of these boxes here. These are all marked down. Now I showed you guys on my live stream last week, they had a couple of sets of screwdrivers here. And I came back for it and uh, it's gone already. Somebody took my... $14 set of screwdrivers that I was going to get. And so see, they still have this 32-piece tool set here. So we'll get a few of these two here, and you can bet people can use some of this stuff over there too as well. So they're warning people too, and I wanted to let you guys know in case you were going to go buy groceries or you know stuff like that for to send over to the Bahamas. Don't get stuff that is not on the list of stuff for requests from the Bahamian government. They have a list on their website of what they really want if you start sending crap that they don't want and that's not on their list it's going to sit somewhere and just rot and nobody is there there's no volunteers there to collect it or do do whatever with it but if you send them stuff like this they're asking for tools and you know other, these other construction supplies and i try to go to costco and get cases of food and you get the cans with the peel top lids because they don't even have they don't even have um can openers over there so I always try to get food that they can eat right out of the can just by peeling open the can too. So we're going to get some of this here for them since these are a really great special buy here. I mean you can't beat that price to get all of these tools in this set here. This is the one I got from my daughter's car as well. So if you're sending a kid off to college this is a great kit to get here but I, I realize that this is an invaluable resource to send over there as well. And I think we'll get in a set here of the Milwaukee screwdrivers here. So these Milwaukee screwdrivers would be a great item to send over there to them too. Five bucks off. Okay, so this is our haul so far. All of this is going to the Bahamas for the Bahama Mamas. So I'll get a couple of these. These are only $3.29 a pair, $9.88 for a set of three gloves. You know they'll need working gloves over there for sure. And then keep in mind, you guys know my strategy here. Even though these guys are all on sale anyway, I'm going to use this Lowe's 10% off card, which they honor here at Home Depot. And so we'll take this up to the register and we'll save even more money off of this. So this is how you shop smart. And when you're trying to help people in need, this is how you maximize your purchasing power here. Hey, and so let me just point out to you also, um, you know, we're buying all of these items because we live in a port city here, like Fort Lauderdale and Miami. But supposing you're not local to here, it might not make as much sense for you to be buying all of these materials here and trying to, to take it someplace to send it. Unless you're specifically requested to bring it somewhere where you know they are transporting it. What you're better off doing is giving money directly to certain agencies that you know are trustworthy over there. Because what they do is they buy the products locally so it helps to support the economy and they hire people locally. Because remember, everybody over there is out of work right now. There's nowhere to go, nowhere to do, no power, no money, no food, no nothing. So by sending money, that is actually the best thing you can do to help countries like that that are going through a disaster like this, this disaster relief efforts. Come over here and we'll get an even cheaper uh, bunch of gloves here. So these are your, uh, your large polyurethane coated gloves, high visibility. So these would be good to use in uh, construction sites out there for people who are just uh, need a quick set of gloves that aren't too fancy there. So 788 gets us 10 pairs of these here.
Holy cow, dudes, you're not gonna believe what just happened. So I'm up at the register paying for these, right? And something was cuckoo. I had them check the prices of these yellow boxes of the, the screws here. So let me flip the camera around. I'll show you here what we were doing. So all of these boxes of screws here were supposed to be about $7 a piece. When the cashier rang them up, they came up as a penny and she said, this is a mistake. They got to go back to the manufacturer. We're not allowed to sell it. When it comes up as a penny, they're, they're not sellable. I'm like, that doesn't make sense because I just showed her the cart and the, the yellow stickers and everything and we got a manager involved. And guess what? They charged us nothing for these screws, folks. So thank you, Home Depot. Yeah, so if you can imagine getting a case of these five pound deck mate screws here, these are normally about $27. So man, did we get a savings here. Unbelievable. So thank you very much, Home Depot. I'm sure the people of the Bahamas will be very much appreciative of this. And we'll make sure it goes to good use. Oh. So I would say this is probably one of my best Home Depot scores ever here, folks, big time. And remember, on top of that, we got to use the coupon. Remember that 10% off Lowe's coupon I showed you? I got to use it on all of the rest of this stuff here. And so we managed to save another $10 off of the already discounted prices here because many of these were closeouts and, of course, the Labor Day uh, specials here. So I would say this is a very successful haul here at the Home Depot. We're around the corner over to Lowe's, and they had these boxes here. These are five pound boxes of roofing nails, one and a half inch, for a buck and a quarter a piece. And this, folks, is how you power shop when you're trying to help those in need. And it costs us almost next to nothing to get stuff that would have been hundreds of dollars. Okay, now I'm hoping I can convince some of you folks to do the same thing, too, is to give food for the victims of the hurricane here. So when you do, I always try to come in and get the cases, and I try to find stuff that's on sale, like this here, this chicken noodle soup here. So this is $3, $3.50 off, right? And then when you can, try to get the cans that have the pop tops, because where a lot of these people are, they've lost everything, and they don't even have can openers to open the cans with. See here, like these, the tuna fish has the peel tops on them. So you won't have to use any can openers on these. All right, so we're looking at these cases of green beans here and also the sweet corn. Oh God, these are so cheap, $5.99. So yeah, I'll get a few of these. I just want to check. So here's one that's open and I'm kind of looking here at the can. And yeah, see it's a, let me see. You can see that's a peel top can there, see? So we're going to get a, go ahead and get one of each of these cases. So we're going to go ahead and get one of each of these cases here too. So that's how you gotta shop when you're shopping for people who have lost it all.